Welcome to our new Shockwave Therapy Device Power Shocker LGT2500X Operation Demonstration Video. Please always refer to the user manual for details or contact the local distributor. In this video, we will guide you through the proper operation of this device. Shockwave therapy is non-invasive and generally considered safe and well-tolerated, but there are certain contraindications in which the treatment should not be used. Let's start by familiarizing ourselves with the structure of the device. This is the front view of the device, with a large LCD touchscreen, a rotary knob, and USB port. Attached to the main unit, we have a general handpiece and a vibration handpiece. This is the back view of the device where we can find the on-off button, switch socket, and cooling fan. The general handpiece delivers shock waves to the treated area. It is ergonomically designed for optimal comfort and has a control panel for easy parameter adjustment. There are six kinds of transmitters to meet the clinical needs of different indications. The vibration handpiece delivers mechanical vibrations to provide therapeutic benefits like increased circulation, muscle relaxation, and pain relief. There are three kinds of transmitters for vibration therapy. Here are other accessories of the device, helping improve the flexibility, usability, and durability of the device. The main interface has a clear display and intuitive layout for easy control. Then, let's prepare the device for the treatment. First, power on the device. Connect the power cord and switch on the button to activate the device. Then, connect the general handpiece. The device can automatically recognize the connected handpiece. The system has a built-in default administrator account. Before operating, sign in the account with the given password. The device offers two treatment modes. Let's walk through the setup process of quick start mode first. Click the Quick Start button to enter the parameter setting interface. Click the box of Patient, you can bind the previous patient information or add new patient information. Then select the desired settings, such as pressure, mode, frequency, and number of shocks, based on the patient's condition and your professional judgment. You can also quickly adjust the parameter using the rotary knob. Then select the transmitter used for the treatment. Click Evaluate button, you can evaluate the pretreatment pain and mobility conditions of patient for comparison after finishing the treatment session. Before clicking the Start button, locate painful spots using palpation. Then apply a generous amount of gel to the treated area. The gel helps improve the transmission of shockwaves and ensures maximum effectiveness. With the setup complete, click the Start button on the screen. And long press the Start button on the handpiece to activate the handpiece to produce shockwaves. Apply the shock waves to the targeted area. Continuously observe the patient's reaction to the treatment and adjust the settings accordingly. Above is the operation process of quick start mode. 
Now, let's walk through the process of preset mode. Click the preset mode button to enter the protocol library. Select the appropriate protocol for a particular condition. Then click Start button. Click the box of Patient. You can bind the previous patient information or add new patient information. The treatment parameters like pressure, mode, frequency, and number of shocks is preset. You don't need to adjust them. Then select the transmitter used for the treatment. Click Evaluate button. You can evaluate the pretreatment pain and mobility conditions of patient for comparison after finishing the treatment session. Before clicking the Start button, locate painful spots using palpation. Then apply a generous amount of gel to the treated area. With the setup complete, click the Start button on the screen and long press the Start button on the handpiece to activate the handpiece to produce shockwaves. Apply the shockwaves to the targeted area. Continuously observe the patient's reaction to the treatment and adjust the settings accordingly. After treatment, you can measure the pain and mobility conditions of patient to compare with the pretreatment. Above is the operation process of preset mode. You can add your frequently used protocol to the preset protocol library. Click program to enter the protocol library, in which you can find an add button. Click it then you can add a protocol into the library. The device is integrated with a patient database to maintain detailed records of patient information. Click Patient Profile in which you can view, add, and delete patient information. You can also export the patient information via USB. You need to enter account password to export the patient information. The system has a built-in default administrator account. Sign in the account with the given password. To change the password, click Settings. Select Account Settings and find Modify Password. Enter current password, then enter the new password. Tap Save to save your new password. Then you can sign in the account with the new password. We hope this video has been informative and helpful. For any further questions, please leave them in the comments below or contact us via email. Thank you for watching.